Now we have another aspect from the other side of the port. Here's one of the oldest restaurants uh, of uh, the Puerto And I guess everybody's a sailor. Very pretty colours. A lot of English live in the zone. Actually, in Sodo Grande, they have a, an international school that's hugely popular. And they prepare kids for the international bachelorato or the IB. We have a, a kids park. You come along through here to this arch. Every Sunday, there's a Sunday market. Let's have a look at the Sunday market. In the 2000s, or well, 90s, 90s into 2000s, they expanded and built these like islas, these islands, where they developed a lot of apartments on the water. As you can see, we also have the Sunday market. Let's dive into it and have a look. Very busy. Lots and lots of restaurants. Um, my dad <laughs> Every year gaining in popularity. Which is really positive because when they constructed these new builds for the first few years they were very empty. bohemian design here. Let's dive into the market. From what I understand, a lot of these marketeers, they travel up the coast and some different locations. They have um, different points during the week.
even Belgian restaurant. And you get a better view of these very attractive apartments. And of course, people from Madrid spend a lot of time here. Exceptionally popular with them. And you can also rent a boat. They look pretty funky actually. seen them go, they go quite fast. Very generous seating area. Like a on pontoons. So that's really the Port of Sotogrande on the Sunday market.